When we say the word, the dictionary, it has so much authority. We think this is the absolute standard for what is and is not a word. And somebody says something dubious, you might say, that's not in the dictionary. Or you say, go look it up in the dictionary if you're arguing about what something means. And this is the closest thing we have to some kind of authority over what truly is and is not in the language. But there are many limitations to that authority. Uh, it can only refer to one specific subsection, one specific branch of the language, and dictionary doesn't necessarily include all the different varieties. But even if we accept that the dictionary refers to the standard variety only, and that we can say this is the official standard language, dictionaries are compiled by very fallible people that occasionally make some very silly mistakes. Uh, and these are sometimes called ghost words uh, because the dictionary shows them. And yet, when you try to track them down, you find nothing but a ghost. So here we have uh, an old dictionary. And look at all these words written out here. They just seem so authoritative. Look, this is a list of all these words. In this case, for heraldry, these are all different kinds of, of symbols for heraldry. And right near the beginning, we see this word here, abacot, an ancient cap of state of the English kings. Well, some kind of ancient version of a crown. It's fun to imagine a, a royal cap. Uh, but what is this thing? And uh, well, if you try to trace it down, you find that this word does not exist. Um, it has no etymology. It cannot be traced to anything. Um, and yet once it starts to appear in one dictionary, it then gets repeated in other dictionaries. It gets used over and over again. And people start to think that maybe it's actually a real word. But in this case, it was entirely started as a misspelling. The actual thing that it's referring to is a bicocket, which is what we would call a Robin Hood hat. This is the pointed kind of medieval hat. Um, and by a misspelling and you know a kind of broken telephone effect of copying out these words, it somehow came to become abacot. And you know, you read the word abacot, it seems like it's believable. It looks like a word for some old hat. Seems very, very plausible. And yet it is a ghost. Now here's one of the uh, silliest examples is the Dord. So in this dictionary, it was defined as a noun meaning density. Okay, Dord is density. Now, as to why you're saying Dord instead of the word density, I'm not entirely clear. Um, but it was tracked down to a, an index card that was used in creating the dictionary in which they said D or D means density, as in capital D or small d, D or D. And uh, some probably sleepy uh, dictionary uh, compilers who had been seeing thousands of cards um, in that moment merged those words together into Dord and the word was born um, and for a few years this existed in the dictionary. Now, so that's a fun one. This, this page has uh, some e examples. You can see some of them it just gets a, a silly little misunderstanding um, like here you have uh, some run kimes through their hands. Um, kimes. Uh, okay, well actually they just meant to say knives. Uh, but it was read as kimes and as soon as that is printed, now this uh, made up word, it, it, it's almost like it gets written into stone as soon as it ends up in a dictionary. Once, uh, you know, it, its origin isn't a mistake, but once it's in the dictionary, it has this extra authority to it. It seems like, wow, this word is now real. Another example uh, is from 
a Walter Scott novel, Dost Thou So Soon Morse Thoughts of Slaughter. Uh, well, okay, so here's this new word Morse. Um, and then they're struggling to try to understand what this word means. Actually just meant to say nurse. Okay, so entirely born out of a mistake. And you can see there's some interesting examples from other languages as well. So anytime uh, a, a dictionary attempts to sort out the uh, many uh, varied and mysterious things going on uh, in a language, there's always room for a few mistakes and in this case can lead to the creation of some very unusual and sometimes silly ghost words.